tables, ladders, and chairs are usually simple devices we weave into our lives. But here in this arena, they become the obstacles that must be faced to prove one's tenacity and unyielding will to prevail. Who will pass the test at TLC? Oh, man, the excitement level just went through the roof in this arena. One half a team extreme. The charismatic enigma about to grace the WWE Universe with his presence. Introducing the challenger from Cameron, North Carolina. Weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy. A true daredevil in every sense of the word, Jeff Hardy is immune to fear. Synonymous with tag team title reigns, a former United States champion, former world heavyweight champion. And what's amazing to think about, guys, is that the career of Jeff Hardy started at just the young age of 16. so excited I can tell and introducing the challenger from Pittsburgh Pennsylvania weighing in at 222 pounds Listen, I can't deny his in-ring ability, but when it comes to his music, I got no time for Elias. Listen, you guys know Elias' lullabies are the number one cause of insomnia in the entire world? All right, I'll just answer my own question. Yeah, I knew that, because they are. The Lone Wolf about to pray. There's two things I've come to learn about Baron Corbin. He doesn't like people, and he loves to cause chaos. Some of the best observations you've ever made, Byron Saxton. Thanks, Corey. And introducing the champion from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds. He is the WWE Hardcore Champion, Baron. A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. Golden Gloves boxing champion. If the Lone Wolf connects with the right hand, you can forget about it. Yeah, lights out in short order. 
Guys, I'm interested to see if any alliances get formed here tonight or if it truly will be one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. Baron Corbin likes to be the epitome of the term lone wolf. Yes, yeah, Saxton, Baron Corbin does what Baron Corbin wants to do, when he wants to do it, and how he wants to do it. Tonight, he wants to beat someone up. Dominating shoulder tackle. starting to falter. Wow. You can bet he's not going to let this golden opportunity slip so easily. I know anything is possible, but I just can't envision a new champ being crowned here tonight. The champ just comes into tonight with too much momentum. Nice. Elias got out of there in the nick of time. Scoop slam! Baron Corbin looking a bit uneasy here. Many see him as one of the greatest champions of this era. Tonight, is his chance to prove it. Byron, I agree that the champ comes into tonight with a great deal of momentum, but like you said, anything can happen. We've seen champs get upset in the past. Who's to say it can't happen again here tonight? Agreed. I don't think anybody expected Eddie Guerrero to defeat Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship back in 2004, but hey, it happened. And it's further proof that any superstar can beat any other superstar on any given night. Looks like he's going to try to win this thing right here. Yeah, but setting up the ladder is only half the battle, Michael. You know that. All right, don't blow this. It's not very often you stand alone in the ring with the ladder. Now just climb that bad boy and walk out of here with the win. Shoulder tackle. The challenger not looking good right now. This very well may be too much for him to handle. This triple threat match really seems to be getting the best of him here, guys. I don't like his chances. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. Corey, you make it sound so easy. But if we're being real, it doesn't matter how many people are in the ring. Climbing that ladder is no easy task. And just when you think you're at the top and you're within inches of winning, you can bet one of your opponents will make you think otherwise. What do you think? We're not going to just sit there and let you win. I don't think so. He's one of those guys that gets going, and it's hard to stop him. Baron Corbin is getting ready. Oh, nasty impact. What a maneuver. Baron Corbin just changed the momentum of this match. Hooked up and backdrop suplex. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back from that one. He's heading for higher ground to get away from you. Check this out. Not an ideal position. Beautiful technique. Oh, Elias able to avoid damage. the reversal. Oh, and transitioning is something else now. And a flawless transition, too, might I add. Guys, a lot of people are predicting a new champion here tonight. Even a poll on WWE.com earlier today predicted we'd have a new champ. But at the risk of being a downer, I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, he, he could win it here! I'd be shocked if this is it, Michael. Making the climb here, guys. Oh. When this guy's on, look out. What a strike. Corey, I have to disagree with your earlier comment. I'm with the masses on this one. I think tonight is the night we crown a new champion. Well, either way, guys, this has been one heck of a match up to this point. And I think it's only going to get better. Slam down hard. No way. 
Astounding power. Baron Corbin is not going to like this. He's in control. Oh, here we go. Watch out here. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. Nailed it. Risks have been taken. Bodies have crashed and burned, and still, the title hangs above the ring. This might be it! Oh, my! Big slam. An incredible impact! Aaron Corbin just too fast for him. You've got to believe this one's over. Oh, nasty impact. Nasty drop. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Jeff Hardy's not going to finish. One ton bomb! This might be the end of Corbin. You got to wonder what he's thinking here, guys. I don't know if he is thinking. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Those three superstars laid it all on the line, as we can see right here in these clips. Man, this was great. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here is your winner, and the new WWE Hardcore Champion, Jeff. Here comes Shin! One of the most dangerous superstars WWE has ever known. And not only because he's a world-renowned striker, maybe the best in the whole business, you are looking at a master of mind games, a psychological warrior. Some might say those mind games, that sinister-like attitude represents the true personality of Shinsuke Nakamura. A man who feels he has freed himself from the weight. And introducing the challenger. Residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! Go ahead, Kurt.
Corey, tell us all about The Miz. The Miz is the man who single-handedly turned SmackDown from the B Show to the show. A star of stage, screen, reality television. Is there anything The Miz hasn't done? Did The Miz pay you to say all that, Corey? Absolutely not, Byron Saxton. I happen to be a hopeful for consideration for a Mizzy this year. Really? That's right. Mizzy? Oh, come on. That would be awesome, Corey. That would be ridiculous. Where would you put it? On my mantle with my most prized possessions. Why are you encouraging him, Michael? I would love to have him. Welcome to Balor Club. And introducing the challenger from Bray. County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! One of the most incredible athletes to ever step foot in WWE, Finn Balor! This man is an enigma with a profound skill set that we have never witnessed before. Former NXT champion, the first ever Universal Champion, Finn Balor, ladies and gentlemen, is for real. Guys, if you are looking for a billboard example of a superstar who has it, who And the Yes Movement is in full effect. Self-made superstar. Daniel Bryan so proud of the fact that he didn't have the hype machine. He didn't have all the praise and promotion. He became a star because he earned his way and he earned the respect of the WWE Universe. interesting is that it can lead to the formation of unlikely alliances just another thing to have to worry about when you're competing against three other superstars all at the same time the referee is going to have his hands full in this one officiating a one-on-one -on -one match is hard enough no oh, what a knee lift back between the ropes And he's heading back in. 
Ooh, what impact. Harsh impact. Toss to the outside. Back of the neck. Kick! The champ's on the defensive now. He's got not one, but three guys looking to destroy him here tonight. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. There it is! Hurricane Rana! Oof! The champion into the cover! Finn Balor quickly getting the shoulder up. Not yet. A lot of people are saying the champion has never looked better. But that doesn't mean we can't see an upset here tonight. Slam with authority. What a stomp. Good grief. The challenger's taking on some offense. In four-way matches such as this, things could get very ugly for him very quickly. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. As Byron was talking earlier about the champ being a heavy favor here tonight, I couldn't help but think back to the night Santino Morella defeated Umaga for the Intercontinental Championship in 2007. I don't think there was a person alive who thought Santino had even a sliver of hope. Yeah, including Santino himself. But hey, as the old saying goes, anything can happen in the WWE. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oof. The challenger not in a great place. He's always up for a challenge, and tonight is no different. A big fight feel inside this arena here tonight for this huge championship match. And so far, I'd say these competitors have brought their A games. Inverting power slam. Wow. The king of strong style with a massive slam. Shinsuke Nakamura. Can he finish the job? You're absolutely right, Michael. This arena is electric right now. And I think part of it is their design. Here we go. Kinshasa! But he's running. He goes for the cover. Is that it? Is it over? Finn Balor can draw the curtains on this one. He pooted draws, but he's got to capitalize now. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Here's Nakamura, not letting up on him. He's making a statement here with this attack. Boom, what impact! The champ is just being outclassed right now. Don't be surprised if he can't find a way to bounce back here in this fatal four-way match. Yeah, things... He's going for the pin. When this guy's on, look out. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow! Walking around the city earlier today, guys, the only thing any... Will he be victorious? Got the leg. Pointing and screw. That'll tear your knee up. Oh, and he dodges out of the way. Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what will happen next? Trouble up on the top rope. Oh. <laughs> Byron, I had a similar experience as you this morning. Nearly every person at the gym I went to was talking about this title match, and rightfully so. This is an absolutely huge match. Okay, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. Bye. Looking at it here. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Things do not quickly into the cover with the title on the line. That's not going to do it. Not yet. Yeah, let's hope he can keep this kind of effort going. Inverted power slot. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Whoa, it's another reversal. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way. Figure four leg lock. History might be made here. 
a bad place to be for the challenger. The challenger's hopes of becoming champion appear to be in serious jeopardy right now. Sure, he'd rather not be on the receiving end here, but let's not lose focus of the fact that he's in far better shape than his opponent right now. Shoulders down, championship on the line. Digging deep for a kick out. WWE's resident rock star pops the shoulder up there. Great effort, but he better save something for later in the match. Finn Balor is in position. 19, 16. Man, what a slam. Wow, what a gritty performance. He might have it. 16. Finn Balor never ceases to amaze me. Oh man, I'll tell Kinshasa! That's what he would shoulders down, is it enough? Shinsuke Nakamura did it! Extreme Rules is not for the faint of heart, as you can see in these highlights. This was another great moment. Look at him go! Yeah, he's putting in the work. He really put on a great show. Here is your winner, and the new United States Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura! Big win here to start the show. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. The following contest is a ladder match and is for the Raw Women's Championship. Oh, yeah! Ever so dangerous! Introducing the challenger from Dallas, Texas, Ember! I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxton would have gotten lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. Amber Moon is a joy to watch, guys. I mean, Amber possesses one of the most devastating and breathtaking signature moves in the business. The Eclipse. Her opponents had better watch out. force and introducing the champion from San Diego California the Raw Women's Champion Nia Jax hey whenever Nia Jax enters an arena whenever Nia Jax enters a match everyone takes notice of the dominance that this woman is capable of. She's beautiful, she's powerful, she's dangerous. It's like a million dollar smile on a wrecking ball. Nia Jax is the irresistible force to be reckoned with. feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Boom!
Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Ooh, what a jawbreaker. Jam your leg in a bad way. Boom! What a right! She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. And it's a long way down from there. This won't end well. Beautiful technique. Challenger's starting to slow down a bit here. You can bet she still has eyes on becoming champion, though. Wow. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. Well, there's yeah. still plenty of match to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens, I don't envision this being the end of the road for her. Oh, man, right to the... Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. She is on fire. We're looking at complete domination here. And she drops her. That was about as in your face as it gets. What a punch. She's lined it up perfectly right where it needs to be making their way up the ladder right now this is a nerve-wracking situation she wants to do this in the ring heading up the ladder now this could be the beginning of the end here's Nia Jax harsh impact she hmm. This is it, guys. There may be no bigger opening than right now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and win this thing. Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it. She, okay. Here's Nia Jax. Big reversal for her there. Byron, you mentioned earlier that the only thing left to do when you're the only superstar in the ring is to quote, unquote, climb the ladder and win. But I can't help but wonder if the pressure becomes even greater when you have such a huge opening. You mean the yips, Cole? I don't know if I'd go that far. I mean, it's not like these superstars are second basemen in New York. Let's look back on the action from the last match. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here is your winner, and still the Raw Women's Champion, Maya Jack. Kicking off the night with it.
Sheamus and Cesaro, one of the most dominant tag teams in recent WWE history. Once upon a time, bitter rivals. Now, a successful team. Absolutely. Uh, you look at this situation as a case of where competition and rivalry builds respect, builds friendship, which in turn has built success for Sheamus and Cesaro. Just open your eyes and enjoy one of the most physical tandems to ever do battle. No shortage of confidence, and why should there be? They don't just... WWE Universe, here comes the reckoning. How do you stop these two? You don't. You could say that the Bludgeon Brothers had their shining moment at WrestleMania when they won the SmackDown Live Tag Team titles and since then have really served as the proverbial black cloud of the tag team division. WWE is about to experience a bludgeoning at the hands of Harper and Rowan. Welcome to the USO Penitentiary! Hey, Corey, have you been down since day one-ish? Saxon, I've been down a lot longer than you have. One of the great tag teams of all time. Jimmy and Jay have been on a run recently that has redefined the tag team division in WWE. No question about it, Jimmy and Jay Uso have single-handedly transformed the tag team division. You know, and if you ask them what made the difference, what made you guys step up your game, Jimmy and Jay will tell you it was the moment we decided to stop. meet in the ring somebody's gonna get hurt and unfortunately for him he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable beatdown you never want to count a competitor out but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight 
Not looking good for Jey Uso here. Well, he knew the champion wasn't going to go down easy here tonight. And he's been gambling quite a bit here tonight. There's plenty of reward that goes along with being outside the ring as much as he has been, but there's a ton of potential risk. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. What's this? Oh, what a slam. What a stomp. Good grief. If you ask me, fellas, this championship match is among the most highly anticipated that we've seen in quite some time. Looks like Jimmy Uso starting to sweat here. I think it's safe to say that the action so far in this six-man tag team match is exactly what we expected. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Here he goes. Oh, what impact. Like you, Corey, I've had this championship match on my radar. Oh, my gosh. What an uppercut. Here's his chance to win this. Can Rowan pull through? He's making a statement here with this attack. We might be looking at a new champ here. That's a huge opening for Sheamus. But can Sheamus capitalize? Oh, look at this. Oh, this is not good enough. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. It's going to be tough to bounce back from that one. Bringing it back between the ropes. Jimmy Uso's best strategy at this point. The champ clearly getting the best of him here. It's make a big time here. He absolutely has to find a way to get back on the offensive if he wants to win this match. Boom! Oh. Wow, I thought he was a god. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. And he's taken down with authority. I think that felt the ground shake on that one. Oh, what incredible power! Suplex. The champ on the defensive now. At this point, I'd say he's probably better off taking a tag to one of his partners. Sounds to me like this crowd's a little shocked to see him on the receiving end here. And you know what? I kind of am too. Don't write him off just yet, guys. From what I see, these guys are pretty evenly matched at this point. Big move coming. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. Look out here. Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, boy, he is rolling. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Man, Sheamus showing some of that Irish charm. What a ladder hits. Jeez, that's going to hurt. Comes up big with the reversal. And Sheamus slips out of harm's way. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. You know, there's an art to being a successful tag team competitor. And right now, he resembles more of a finger paint. Sometimes when you're dominating your opponent as much as he's been doing in this match, you lose focus. That's likely what happened here. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one. And Sheamus. Oh, he's going for that high cross. Way up top. Oh, Landing. I'm not sure how much he has left. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. To Byron's point, there are several competitors on the roster who can make a case for being the next in line for a title opportunity. However, a lot of that, of course, depends on the outcome of this match here tonight. So with that in mind, regardless of their personal feelings, you have to think the locker room is rooting for the champion here tonight. The last thing they want to do is to have to wait even longer while the champs rematch cross kicks in. Oh, shows no mercy. And that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh my gosh. What an uppercut. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Looks like trouble here, Byron. I don't know. I guess that all depends on who you're rooting for. Well, he's tapped into a power source I wasn't sure he had. See if he can keep it going. Back in from the floor. You've got to believe this one's over. What a counter here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, he turns it around. 
Toss to the outside. Back now inside the ring. Cesaro. He's in trouble. Ended this one, fellas. Boy, I think you're right. What an amazing six man tag match. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Check this out. He ain't messing around. He ain't playing here. And so it goes. Here are your winners, Harper and Rowan, the Bludgeon Brothers. Now that's eking out a win. Sometimes you step in the ring and just refuse to lose. I think that's what we saw here tonight. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much. I've ever seen. It's always everybody else's fault. The monster among men is here. And introducing the challenger, weighing in at 385 pounds. The earth is trembling with each step. I would do anything not to get stuck inside the ring with Braun Strowman. Oh, Byron, I would pay all of my bank account to watch you get these hands. Look, quite, quite. I don't want them to hear you. Yeah, you start to feel like there's nothing Braun Strowman can't do. Well, there is one thing we know for a fact Braun Strowman can't do, and that's... And introducing the challenger from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose. He can be technically savvy. He can brawl with the best Dean Ambrose. He's an anomaly. No, he's not, Byron. He's nuts. A Grand Slam champion in WWE, one of the most successful competitors of this generation. And guys, my sources tell me he's got a smoking hot wife. That'd be Renee Byron. Oh. Champion from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 200. 
118 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Dolph Ziggler. No more showing off. It's all business now for Dolph. You know, Dolph Ziggler has twice been the sole survivor at Survivor Series. But sometimes you forget just how much Dolph Ziggler has really accomplished in WWE. But this is a superstar who has stood the test of time. You know, Sami Zayn was once known as the underdog from the underground. Yeah, then he started hanging out with Kevin Owens and became the coward from the underground. Yep, bite your tongue, Saxton. Sami yep. Zayn simply aligned himself with his best friend, and the two of them yep. have achieved incredible things in WWE. Yep. Yeah, like, uh, let's see, getting fired. Like uh, starting the yep movement. By yep. big time matches at WrestleMania. Yep. Yeah, ripping off somebody else. Really creative. Yep. You know, guys, it is said that friends of the family we choose are adopted brothers. They are the ones we love and share life's moments with. Yeah, but in the case of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, that love often turns into envy, which leads to betrayal, greed, and your best friend becoming your worst enemy. We've seen some amazing ladder matches over the years, and I'm willing to bet this one will rank right up there with some of the best. I'm talking about Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn's friendship like you were, Byron. It's quite frankly nauseating. Kevin Owens has put Sami Zayn in the rearview mirror a hundred times over. Their friendship's done. So what? That's life. People outgrow each other. But Zayn's own jealousy keeps the pair in an endless cycle. Well, I think it takes two to tango, Corey. And both Sammy and Kevin have said they feel like they're destined to fight forever. And fight forever, they just might. Boom, what impact! Wow, look at that combination punch! With precision. What a stop. Good grief. The challenger's taking on Ooh. some offense. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. Well, I don't expect this to be the nail in the coffin, but it definitely isn't ideal. If he wants to be able to climb the ladder, he's really going to have to minimize the effects of this attack. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, he'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Guys, these superstars really do appear to be in peak physical condition here tonight, which isn't surprising considering what's on the line here in this championship match. Kick the Fireman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Well, This has got trouble written all over it. I got to agree with you, Michael. These superstars are in tremendous shape. And from what I understand, the champ has been hitting the gym twice daily in preparation for tonight. They're the same thing, Saxton. Once in the morning, then again at night after the show. Which makes me wonder when the champ actually sleeps. If at all. Face buster. Oh. Oh, nasty impact. Braun Strowman faltering some. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. Oh, targeting the stomach. Mitchell oh. Gutsberger! Absolutely planted. Wow, what impact! 
Speaking of champions heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the honky-tonk man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. We all know what happened to him on that night. <laughs> you are so right, Michael. That was great, of course, though. It wasn't so great for the honky-tonk man who ended up losing his championship to the Ultimate Warrior in fewer than 30 seconds. What a strike. Oh, incredible height. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. What a dive! Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Boom, what impact! To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. This isn't the challenger's first rodeo. Everybody knows exactly. Kevin Owens. Pump handle applied. Oh, God. Man, right on the back of the neck. And a slam. He can end it here. Sami Zayn is looking to fly. Jeez, I don't like Sami Zayn's chances in this one. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Goodness, that hurt the shoulder. Whoa, it's another reversal. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. And now he's standing it right up in the middle of the ring. Right where it needs to be. Drop kick. Beautiful. Call me crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it's... Uh-oh. Braun Strowman doing a great job of turning that around. And this is all part of Kevin Owens' battle plan. He's setting up the ladder now. But can he get up there in time? That's the question. Heading up the ladder now. This could be the beginning of the end. Now back to the ring. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. History might be made here. That just echoed throughout this entire arena. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. 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 Climbing up, guys. Here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Oh, what a forearm! That was dirty. Not an ideal position. Nailed it. Owens has him hooked up. Pump handle. Oh, right across the knee. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Is the second time enough to end this match? It'll be tough to bounce back from that one. Oh, impactful slam! And you can see that Owens is looking overwhelmed! His outlook is not good at all. He has got to do something quick. He's in big trouble. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. It'll be tough to bounce back from that one. Ziggler is unstoppable when he's feeling it like this. Bang! Dirty deeds! The champ's in a real bad place right now. All that's left now is for Ambrose to finish this. Look, Dean Ambrose 
He looks like he's got this. Oh, hellacious power slam. I don't like Ambrose's chances here at all. He's a ball of energy right now, but we'll see if it lasts. Assault on the lower back. The challenger simply will not be denied. Things just went from bad to worse for Braun Strowman. Bang! Gonna try to win it right here. Reaching for it's one thing though, Cole. Pulling it down, totally different. Look at this, Kenny grab it. Inches away, an aggressive move going for it now, but I, I think I powerbomb planet. Don't be surprised if you try a new champ here. Has Sami Zayn produced an end result? Look at this. Oh, nasty impact. John escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Get it. Boom! So much for crowning a new champion tonight. He's looking to get up that ladder, guys. A long way. Dolph Ziggler is going. There it is! The zigzag! Gotta like the champ's chances now. Let's take another look at these guys in action. He's getting it done here. Yeah, he's putting in the work. Look at him go. And here's a last look at this one. Here's your winner and the new Intercontinental Champion, Sammy. The following contest is a table, ladders, and chairs match. And is for the WWE Universal Championship. A decade and a half of dominance. And introducing the champion from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, John Cena! Listen to this place! Since 2003, I don't know if any other superstar has defined WWE in the same way as John Cena. Yeah, a man who's been defined by his passion, a man who's been defined by his work ethic, and a man who has been defined by Hall of Fame success here in WWE. here tonight. Byron, you should strive to be more like John Cena. I do. When it comes to great rivalries, Byron, I know you have Brock Lesnar versus John Cena high on your list. Oh, absolutely, Michael. For me, it's hard to top their battle at Extreme Rules 2012. Just the overall intensity during that match was off 
the charts as Cena took a beating, but eked out a close victory against the Beast Incarnate. Guys, can you imagine what Vince McMahon Sr. would say if he saw a match like this? It really is amazing how much sports entertainment has evolved over the years. Well, as Byron mentioned, Cena did indeed defeat Lesnar in Brock's first match back in WWE after eight years away. But Lesnar got his revenge. And then some at SummerSlam two years later. Oh yeah, it was on that night that we truly were introduced to Suplex City as Brock hit 16 suplexes en route to decimating Cena for the WWE Championship. What a strike, right on the mark. There's a fisherman suplex. Now it's Lesnar taking oh, some punishment. But he's not appearing too worse for wear. At least not yet, anyway. You better buckle up, guys. There's a very real chance he'll be feeling the effects of this match for a long time to come. Oh. Guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. Especially considering how many times the champ's been in big time matches like this. I'd agree, the champ is used to the bright lights and bright stage. Dare I say, it's almost second nature at this point. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Oh, what a clothesline! Forcefully delivered. And Byron, this takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael. But you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. What a stomp! Good grief! Here we go, everybody's on the out. And a knee stop! That'll ruin your leg. But he's got to capitalize now! Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You gotta make a move eventually. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Like Corey was saying, there's no better time to climb the ladder than when you're the only one in the ring. But as we've learned, that doesn't equate to automatic victory. Especially at this point in the match, Michael. Climbing the ladder is not always the easiest thing, especially after you've had Lesnar looking to fly. The champ with reason to be concerned. And at this point, how much more does he have to give? Just seeing what he's gone through so far in this TLC match makes me... Suplex City! That might be enough. This is definitely where you want to be at this point in a ladder match. But beware, just because you're the only one in the ring doesn't mean you're guaranteed a victory. Just ask the Mibs. What a strike! What a punch! A lot of damage taken on by Lesnar. I'm not sure how this is going to pan out. Don't count the beast out yet. Number one contender or not, I don't know how much longer he can go on. Here we go, John Cena set attitude adjustment. Wow, that was incredible. That has got to be it. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. There he goes, crashing to the floor. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Lesnar did it! 
What a performance. Was there ever any doubt? Every time the tables, ladders, and chairs come out, we get more than our money's worth. Man, oh man, look at that. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. And finally, contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match and is for the WWE Championship. Oh, this is going to be good. Introducing the challenger from Huntington Beach, California, Weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe! One of the baddest dudes to ever play the game. The first two-time NXT champion. A world-traveled, world-class competitor. One of the most well-rounded athletes sports entertainment's ever encountered. Yeah, the scenery may have changed in Samoa Joe's career, but the attitude is still the same. Samoa Joe does what he wants, when he wants. The phenomenal AJ Styles. You talk about AJ Styles, the list of accomplishments is seemingly endless. Styles, a true global superstar before arriving in WWE, but since he's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker. And phenomenal. introducing the champion from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, he is the WWE champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles has constantly proven that he is a mastermind of offensive innovation, and it has taken him to the championship promised land on multiple occasions. No one ever thought he'd ever make it here to WWE. But now, here the phenomenal one is. As we get underway, I'm expecting a hard-fought match between these two superstars. The first one to make a mistake could fail. Guys, can you imagine what Vince McMahon Sr. would say if he saw a match like this? It really is amazing how much sports entertainment has evolved over the years. Most of the time, I don't understand Samoa Joe's problem. I understand healthy competition in WWE, but Joe takes it to a dangerous level. Saxon, I wouldn't expect you to understand Samoa Joe's mindset. He has the instincts of an assassin, something very few possess. I can tell you guys that this arena sold out in record time, and a lot of that has to do with this match in the ring right now. This is easily one of the most anticipated title matches in recent memory. Wow. What a splash.
Like you were saying, Michael, when news broke that this title match would take place here, I had dozens of people I know in and around the area calling and texting, just hoping I could get them tickets. That's how big this match is. Isn't that cute? Your friends actually think you have enough pull around here to get them tickets. Poor people. Here comes Samoa Joe. Oh, oh man, what a strike! Look at this, guys. Things are looking good now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and leave here the winner. Back in the ring now. What a strike. of winning absolutely increase when you're the only one in the ring. But just because you're so low doesn't mean you're going to win. Think about it. Climbing the ladder isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do, especially after you've been beat on since the opening bell. Opening bell or not, Saxton, you couldn't climb a step stool to change a light bulb without getting dizzy. Let's be honest here. Here comes Samoa Joe. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. Oof. He's going to have to find a way to fend off the champ here. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. This is it, guys. There may be no bigger opening than right now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and win this thing. He keeps it. What a title defense by AJ Styles. And here's another look at what made that match so special.